uh, a lot of people do get misdiagnosed, and that happens with a lot of rare diseases. Um, it happens also a lot with um, sarcoidosis because it's a disease of exclusion, they call it. And, it, and it, if you look at it under like an x-ray or MRI, it would look like you have cancer. And especially with lung cancer, because it's in the lungs or whatever. My original diagnostic <laughs> odyssey um, is, I was down in Florida. I, was, I used to run. I was um, college, run and a lot in college. Uh, got a full scholarship, the whole deal. <laughs> uh, and in 2004, I was actually um, doing my five to 10 mile run. I used to run every morning. And I went out and I got about a quarter of a mile and I couldn't breathe. I went to the hospital, they did tests and found out that I had masses or granulomas in my lungs. They did the biopsy and unfortunately they misdiagnosed me with lung cancer. Now that happens, like I said, well, but th unfortunately they went a little bit further and I went through I, four years of chemo and radiation for something I never had. So that's where my odyssey is a little bit different. Um, the chemo actually helped it because it stopped them from growing, but the, unfortunately the uh, radiation put my body through a lot and that's how I ended up. But seven years later, I um, moved back up to New York where I was originally from and had another problem with my lungs again. They did another biopsy and told me I had sarcoidosis. Um, then the, I went to a center of excellence in Mount Sinai Hospital over in Manhattan, and which happens to be one of the world's largest clinics for sarcoidosis, and talked to a specialist. They brought all the information from Florida and found out I never really had lung cancer. I actually had that, um, yeah, unfortunately. But by the time I did get diagnosed seven years later, it was already in 75% of my body. So the thing with sarcoidosis is that if you get diagnosed early enough, 75% of the pa patients go in remission. But of course, since I was already seven years past and went through all the extra stuff, my, um, I already had a chronic. A chronic. About only, only about 20 to 30% people are chronic cases. When I mean chronic cases means that it's going to stay in your body, it doesn't go into remission. It, the, it's a very painful disease. Every day I'm in a 6 and 7 pain from 1 to 10. Um, it, it like I said, it attacks any part of my body. For me, the major pain for me is in my bones. And, um, but it's, the, like I said, if it gets caught early enough, a lot of people can you know, go into remission. So that's one of my major pushes is early detection, um, is to make sure that, you know, prednisone actually works if it's done early enough and you don't have to stay on it for too, too long.